A very good morning to all of you. Now today we will try to understand how to schedule a meeting using a Google Meet. As you know that there are two online platforms. The first one is Zoom and the second one is Google Meet. Google Meet is most viable option as compared to Zoom. So we will try to schedule a meeting using a Google Meet only. Now if you want to schedule a meeting, so there are again are two ways. The first one is the URL of the Google Meet that is meet.google.com. If you just type uh, this URL in the Google search bar, then you will directly navigate to the Google uh, Meet uh, window or else you can schedule a meeting using a calendar also. So we will try to explore these two options one by one. Now we will see first option. We will uh, try to schedule a meeting using a calendar. Now before scheduling a meeting, I want to tell you one thing that uh, if you want to use a Google Meet platform, then you should have a Gmail account with you. Now click on the nine dots. So after clicking on the nine dots, uh, so many apps will come in front of you and you have to search a calendar. A 31 calendar is there. Now click on the calendar. So a new tab will open. Now in this calendar, if you want to schedule a meeting on 20th May at 4 p.m., then you have to click the corresponding square. So after clicking on the corresponding square, a small window, a window pops up in front of you. Now you have to add a title. So give a title to this that is online presentation. So after writing a title, then click on more options and again uh, this window appears. So here you add, uh, here you have to click on this add Google Meet video conferencing. Just click on it. Then uh, a URL will come in front of you. That is meet.google.com slash x uh, f y uh, dash f e a j uh, dash u j v. Now this URL you have to go, uh, you have to share with your students. So only then they will be able to enter into your uh, meeting. Now you have scheduled a meeting in a calendar. So calendar will remind you of the designated meeting and time. So you have to save all the changes. So for that, uh, a save uh, button is there. So click on the save. So after clicking on the save, you can see that uh, you have scheduled a meeting on 20th May at 4 p.m. This calendar will remind you in the morning that you will be having a meeting at 4 p.m. So you have to ready for that. So this is the first option. So now we will try to explore the second option that is um, meet.google.com. So we are going to type that meet.google.com in the Google search bar and then we click on the enter button. So we are writing meet.google.com in the Google search bar and now I am clicking on the enter button. So you navigate to the new window that is start that is starting a Google Meet platform. So here you can see one option that is start a meeting. So if you click on start a meeting again a new window will appear and there you have to uh, make some changes. So the you have to follow some protocol while entering into a meeting. Before starting a meeting, you have to uh, disable your audio and the video setting. It means that you have to meet, uh, mute your audio and disable your video. So now we are clicking on start a meeting. So now I am disabling my video and, uh, and audio also. So after uh, disabling all your audio and the video settings, then uh, go to join now. So this will uh, navigate again to the new window. So now here you can see one uh, URL is there. Now this URL is very important and this you have to share with your participants, students or colleagues. You can share it via the mail or the WhatsApp. Now we will try to explore some more options in the Google Meet platform. So here you can see three buttons are there. The first button is for the audio. The second one is to leave a meeting. Suppose if you are having, if you, uh, if you are having some work and if someone calls you, then you will have to leave a meeting. So in that case, you will have to click on to leave a, uh, leave a meeting. Then this is for the video. Now in this case, actually we have disabled our audio and the video. You as a teacher can uh, enable this audio and the video settings. But for the participant, it is requested that they have to 
disable their audio and the video as a teacher you can enable these two things so now if you want to present anything then uh, you click on this option so again so there will be three ways the first is your entire screen the second one is the window and third one is the chrome tab your entire screen means what that you can uh, share that you can show your laptop screen so laptop screen will be displayed and a window it means what a pdf a powerpoint or any document can be displayed so at a time only one um, one thing will be displayed in this case a chrome tab is there and on the top right corner you will be having three options the first one is the people so how many people are there in your uh, meet that you can see now in this case only one people is there and that is me so a chat option is also there so here you can chat with your participants or your host uh, who have called you for a meeting now uh, there is one option that is not option so if uh, if a participant is having a question in their mind they can raise their hand by clicking on this option so this is a very simple tool by which you can have the live interaction with the students uh, so now i am sharing the two important link the first one is the not reaction and second one is the attendance so for the effective google meet you have to install these two links these two reactions using the google chrome the first one not reaction it means what that if uh, someone is having some question so they can raise their hand so they can raise their hand only if this not reaction uh, button is there in the google meet platform so it is not inbuilt in the google meet so you have to uh, install it externally now similarly you can have the attendance also so it is also not uh, inherent in the google meet so these two options are very important if you want to have the effective google meet so this is all about the google meet if you have some queries then you can ask to me anytime